Hi everybody, I'm Batya from the MCC community in uh, Pleasanton and the, about the message what my neighbors should know about us as Muslims uh, is that we are not very different uh, from anyone else in the society and therefore we don't have any prejudice against any group and uh, so and we should all, uh, I think we should get all on board to support interface dialogues to get to, uh, to get to know each other better in the future. Have a great day. Hi, I'm a physician and I see lots of patients in my office. Most, a lot of physicians and nurses know me and I usually don't wear hijab. Just a couple of days, a scholar was visiting my office, so in his respect I wore the hijab and when a lot of patients and other, my colleagues saw me in hijab, for the first few seconds nobody recognized me and then I could, uh, I was getting looks that made me quite uncomfortable and I was kind of amazed. It's, people come to a physician when they trust him and they're really appreciative of my work most of the time and I, a lot of people really care about me but that just piece of cloth on my head really I felt changed their perception of me and I just want to let everybody know just the way a person dresses or they appear should not change your perception of that person. It's the same person under that scarf. Asalaamu Alaikum. My name is Asif Kidwai. I live in Pleasanton, California. Uh, I've been in the United States for over 30 years. It has been a great experience, uh, particularly getting to know people from different races and religions, which is something which I did not have the opportunity to do while I was back in my home country. So in terms of interfaith work, I think the greatest interfaith work is when you interact with people and uh, uh, they get to know you and you get to know them and that's how you get to know each other. And uh, that, in my opinion, is uh, a good way of doing interfaith work. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Ira and I wear this hijab to school and I'm proud of it. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Basil Rizwan from MCC East Bay in Pleasanton, California. One thing I want our neighbors to know about us is we're normal people. We're not some lunatic animals that, you know, just come to your house or come into your neighborhood. Uh, we're just trying to do our thing. We're going to the same schools. We're trying to get the same opportunities as everyone else who came to this country. Uh, I'm trying to build on that same bond of love, unity, hope, and freedom uh, as everyone else. Um, you know, get to know one of us, talk to one of us. Don't just go online on Facebook or uh, anywhere else and start commenting away. You know, actually get to talk to one of us. The worst that can happen is we'll invite you over for some dinner. Thank you. Hello guys, I'm Ersin. I'm from Germany, but I'm actually Turkish. I'm here as an exchange student in California. Um, the question is, what do you want your neighbors to know about you? So, in my opinion, we are all humans, so my neighbors can knock on my door whenever he wants. Um, so we are very peaceful. And we have always good food, so you can come, out, come by whenever you want. Hi, I'm Georgia. Um, I'd like my neighbors to know that even though I'm converting to Islam, I'm still the same person, maybe a bit better person, but I'm still the same person that I was before, I still have the same personality. Um, yeah, so that's what I'd like my neighbors to know. No one experience changed like how I see my neighbors, but I think just doing neighborly things, you know, going to their house and asking for eggs or milk when you're out and you need something for baking, doing kind of neighborly things, having people over for dinner, even though they may be of very different beliefs, I think that that's been an experience that's changed the way I think about uh, my neighbors. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Adil Rizwan from MCC East Bay, and I think interfaith work is important because uh, it brings the community together and it helps the communities bond. I'm Dr. Nazir Ahmed. I'm a space scientist by training. I built most of the Hubble Space Telescope. So if you ask me what it is that I want my neighbors to know about me, we are American, like everybody else. We are here to serve, because the Quran commands us to serve. I created not beings of fire and beings of energy, except to serve me. Secondly, we're here to do good. 
good to the community, good to the people, good to the neighbors. We're just like everybody else. We have children who go to schools, who uh, play the same games. And um, when things are tough, we are here to defend the country like everybody else. Now, having said that, we stand up for morals. In other words, what is right is right. We speak of the truth, we pray, we fast, we uh, give charity, and these are tenets of all faiths. We are like the Christians and the Jews when it comes to uh, giving charity or prayer and um, reaching out to other people. And we have the institution of Hajj. So putting it all together, there is nothing great uh, or in terms of distinction between Muslims and non-Muslims. We are like any other American and um, we are here to serve, to participate, and build a strong, vibrant, inclusive America. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Idris and I'm a Muslim. What I find important about interfaith work is that there are a lot of misconceptions that people from various faiths have when looking onto other religions. For example, a lot of people don't know that us Muslims believe in the same timeless space as immaterial God that Abraham, Isaac, Noah, and Jacob believed in. What I also find important about interfaith work is that it brings people from various faiths together and establish good communication and relations within our communities. And living in a time of secularization and mockery of religion, I wouldn't be surprised in the near future if there was legislation attacking religious liberty. And this is why we should work together to, um, for, you know, for the common good. I'd like my neighbors to know that we all kind of have the same core values. We all really truly want to be good to our neighbors. We want to raise good kids. We want to live near good schools. And we all basically want to take care of each other as a community. I think because a lot of groups, interfaith groups, are kind of insular, we may not necessarily know that we have the same core values, but we do. When I first moved to my neighborhood, one of the first things I did was to actually go to each of our neighbors with like a little welcome basket, sort of welcoming, welcoming us to their neighborhood, just so that way they can get to know us, not just as the Muslim neighbors, but just as neighbors who like to have fun, neighbors with kids, neighbors with kids that like to play with their kids, and just to let them know that we're part of the larger community. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My name is Nishad and I've been li I live in Dublin, California. What do I want my neighbors to know about me? My uh, I follow the religion Islam, and I consider it to be the one of the best religions in this entire world. Whatever the media has been portraying about Islam is not exactly right. Islam is a religion of peace, and our Prophet وسلم, has always taught us the same. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Uzma Qasir and I've been in the California for last year, <laughs> since last year. Uh, but yeah, when I came here, I was very new and, uh, but my neighbors were really good. They supported me and uh, during Ramadan, I went out and um, shared some dates with them and some, uh, a few notes about Ramadan, what is Ramadan with them and they were really good. Uh, they were really keen to know about what's going on, uh, what is Ramadan and what, what, what we are doing during this month. So some of them uh, went ahead and searched it on the net and um, found out some information about it and they thanked me for that and uh, it was really nice experience for me and um, it was really wonderful and I was really uh, happy that uh, they are so supportive uh, regardless of the times that we are in nowadays. Um, and how everybody is looking down upon us about the Muslims and the Islam. But um, it's really happy to know that uh, the neighborhood that I'm in uh, is really nice and supportive. Salams, that's <laughs> greetings and peace from us to all of you. I just wanted to let all my neighbors know that I'm just like a regular mom that you see in the neighborhood who has kids in soccer teams and baseball teams. I run around all over town, go to, go to work in the morning, try to do work with PTA and volunteer work for the community. I've worked for, for our city department, have many good friends. Come and meet me, have a cup of tea with me. Thank you.